Hello, my friend. You know, often you see the words, God loves you. Even a jewelry store was handing out pins that said that. But you know, often we overlook that, the real meaning, the deep meaning of what that means in our individual lives on a daily basis. If we really take those words inside and realize their truth, God loves you, just as you are, exactly as you are. God loves you more than you could ever imagine. And God's affection is deeper than you can uh, even fathom in your wildest dreams. And as a result of God's love, you have an important decision to make, my friend. You must decide what to do about God's love. Do you return it or do you reject it? Now, many people reject it saying, I'm no good. Uh, I'm just not worthy. I'm, I'm not good enough for God's love. If you do that, you're, you're really uh, talking down God's creation. You're talking down possibilities of today and tomorrow and the future. When you accept God's love that flows from the heart of God, I tell you, it will transform you. When you embrace God's love, you'll feel different about yourself, about your neighbors, your community, your church, and the world. God is love, and to worship God you must accept and become that love. When you open your heart to God's love, you feel compelled to share God's message and God's compassion with others. God's heart is overflowing, overflowing with love for you. Accept it and return it and share it with others today. Billy Graham, who is quite ill right now, wrote these words, God loves you, and God yearns for you to turn away from the path of wrong. You need God's forgiveness, and you need God to come into your life and remake you from within. I pray that you accept the words in 1 John 4, verse 8. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. God bless you, and I send you my love. Have a great day.